Hello, my bell. Hey, Matt. What's up, Armstrong? Good. Guessing that's you. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, good. Yes. We've started having nice weather, yeah. What's that? We've started having nice weather. Oh, that's good <laughs> news. I know it takes a while in Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Like nice meaning it's not snowing or nice yeah, meaning no, it's not snowing. I mean, the snow is the rain has been washing the snow. It's just that it's still cold. OK. Yeah. How's your semester going, Armstrong? Well, technically, I'm done for it's just that I'm uh, I have some other kind of, uh, I got some postdocs offer that I'm trying to work on and some, I'm just looking to for faculty position now and things like that. Are you done like in May? Like yeah. You'll, you'll graduate? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you ever want to talk about like future stuff, you know, Yeah. you know how to get a hold of me. Yeah, sure. Sure, Matt. Happy I'll, to talk I'll, to you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a shout. Yeah, yeah. That works for me. Yeah. So I know Elizabeth can't be here today. So <laughs> so I'll run the meeting. What's up, Dawn? Hey, yeah. Uh... Don, I really actually keep waiting for a new background indicating <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that one day it's just going to happen. It is. One day it's just going to happen and it will be super exciting. Um, <laughs> no, I think the earliest is probably June at this point. Okay. The process here for you buying a house is ridiculously long. Maddening. <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and to make it even better in the flat, the people above us are seem to be doing a whole bunch of construction. Oh, um, nice. And so there's just drilling sounds all the time. And I am so over living in a flat and really want to be in a house. <laughs> yeah, drilling sound, that's not my thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm yes, I, I'm quite particular about noises. And so, especially when they aren't my own. <laughs> I can relate to that. I can empathize as a New York City resident, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Our upstairs neighbor just redid their entire kitchen, and there was a lot of thumping and drilling, and it really upset our cats for like a straight two months. Yeah, it, it seems to be uh, to coincide with with all the meetings. Uh, is, is when they start looking at it. We'll give it a few Nicole, more minutes. Here. Congratulations on your new job. 
Thank you. Thank you. So are you in an, in an actual office now? No, I'm I'm at home. Oh, okay. Uh, in, now entirely remote. Oh, that so, sounds even better. Still at home. <laughs> yeah. So it's you've started, huh? Yes. Yes. All right. As of as of yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I expect more pic if you're totally remote, I expect more pictures of your garden. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One job for me. <laughs> okay, got, got it. I did I did post um I it's so funny that you should say that. I did post some of um uh, some flowers in the garden. I saw uh, no, oh, you did. Okay. okay. I saw. So that's why I, that kind of reminded me. So you're okay. you're coming along quite well in that in Portland. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's been rainy the last couple of days, but <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, I guess it is. Right? Then I don't have to turn on the well. Everything you know, you know, guy. Everything is automated here, but. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. you don't have to think about it <laughs> right right exactly yeah all right well cool um all right so elizabeth can't make it today so i'm going to run the meeting today so wow. it's actually our first agenda item so i'm going to start the recording somewhere uh, oh we're already recording just like that Auto, auto magical how did that happen um, all right well i, I think will... it, it happened to me in my last meeting too so Oh, apparently it's a setting that is now. It's a, it's a feature change or okay. a setting or something. All right. Well, and... hopefully nobody. I I will make sure to edit this <laughs> yeah. like, for the last five minutes or whatever. Yeah. All right. Um, that's interesting. All right, I will share my screen then, unless I'm already doing that. No, right. now you are. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So welcome everybody to the April fifth. Chaos community meeting. It's great to have you here. Um, just a few comments. So I think we're going to spend a little bit of time. We're going to try to end early um, just because we're going to do chaos con planning stuff. So I'd like to use some time here to do that. Um, so Elizabeth can't be here today. She's actually uh, taking, you know, attending that first item. So she code Africa kicks off today and we have two students who are participating. Uh, in the She Code Africa program. And so Elizabeth and I think Ruth and maybe Matt uh, Cantu are at that meeting just to kind of welcome the two students and uh, provide some onboarding. They, it looks like both of them are going to be working on some Slack bot functionality, uh, particularly helping newcomers <laughs> who would join Slack. Uh, to kind of point them in, in directions that are useful to them. So if you have an interest in that, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I'll make a comment here on, on Outreachy. So if you haven't noticed, we've had a lot of people express an interest in Outreachy on Slack. Uh, this is a marked change, I think, from the last time that we participated in Outreachy. Yeah. And so we weren't um, the, the numbers are, are quite different. I do, if anybody's on the call uh, interested in Outreachy, uh, I just, I want to kind of just reemphasize that we have funding for one mentee, all right? So you yeah. can kind of take a look at the, the uh, number of people who are participating in the Outreachy Slack channel and just kind of realize that it's, it's going to be a, a, there's just, there's a lot of people who have expressed interest uh, and there just aren't uh, many opportunities, meaning one here in the chaos project. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I did. No, mention, I did. I had an office hour for outreachy students yesterday, and I I did mention that. And several students had a question about how we would be deciding, and I said that we would look at contributions and applications, and then the group would get together and decide that with the number of potential applicants, there there isn't really any way I could tell you what to do that would be more or less the right thing. Um, yeah, and I think if we have those conversations about like what to do, we should probably have them in the outreachy channel so that everybody exactly yeah sees the and we did record that and okay. I think Elizabeth posted it in the posted the video on the outreach channel. Okay, if she has not yet. She intends to. Do you are you gonna do you plan on running another one? There was also a question too if you would run a session like that, Sean, for Google Summer of Code. 
Yeah, I can. I think I could put that on the calendar for later this week. Okay. Or over the weekend. Okay. I'll make, make enough to do that. Okay. Well, thank you for doing that. I just, no that's, that's a really nice thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any, oh, I just, I also wanted to just take an opportunity to say thank you to Microsoft, who is uh, funding half of the Outreachy sponsorship. So Outreachy, you know, is a, from a community perspective, we provide the funds, unlike Google Summer of Code, uh, and Microsoft is, is splitting the cost with us, uh, the Chaos Project. So I, I'd just like to say thank you um, to Emma, who had pushed this, and, and to Microsoft, who is providing that support. I'm also talking, just so you know, too, I'm talking with Brian Warner at the Linux Foundation, just because we're going to be using the funds out of the Community Bridge or whatever it's called, the LF. You know, the, that special fund that's difficult that, to access yeah. that one i know what you're talking about oh no wait a second uh dawn is typing that tomorrow it's her 51st birthday like it's just we're sitting right there like i cannot not wow. see that wow well, happy birthday <laughs> so, Dawn! i thought i was sneaking it in i wasn't actually uh -uh. looking at your screen <laughs> no way it's sitting right in the middle of my screen <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday dawn <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions about Outreachy or kind of how things are going there? I think the period goes for another two weeks, perhaps, like the through the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken, of April. Um, and then I uh, for right? Outreachy or for Google Summer of Code? Outreachy. That I'm, I, I know Google Summer of Code is the 19th of April. Okay. Then, I'd have to look up outreachy. I believe you, though. Okay. Okay. I can look it up real quick as well. Okay. If you could put it in the notes, if yeah, you find I'll, it, I'll find it. Um, and then we'll move on to point three. Uh, the metrics review period is over, so metrics are being finalized now. I'm glad Kevin is on, and I'm gonna. Well, is he still on? Oh yeah, there he is. Um, Kevin, do you have any comments on the metrics release or anything you'd like to update us on? Uh -huh. Just that, uh, so we, we are we're through the comment period now. So now the, uh, the working groups have a week to two weeks to uh, uh, make edits and prepare the metrics for the release. And that, that preparation includes removing the, uh, uh, the disclaimer text that's at the top of the metric uh, that, that says the metric is under review. Uh, it also uh, involves uh, Making sure that the uh, the metric has made its way over to the translations uh, repo, and that work is is going on on that. Uh, when the uh, when the metric is ready to go, if you want to tag me in the uh, the issue just to let me know it's good, I will start closing those issues as I migrate those metrics to the website. Okay, um, and then I think our you and I are you, me, and Elizabeth are going to get that link to the uh, privacy and ethics statement in there. I think. I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's the it's the same text. So really, it's uh, uh, just a matter of uh, pasting it into all of the all of the okay. metrics. Uh, I don't know that we even need to do all three of us. Uh, one of us could, could probably take care of it. And, okay. And if, if you'd like, I can take care of that as part of the release. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really add considerable uh, uh, work on my end. Okay. I mean, if, if it's okay, I was going to offer myself too. If it's easier that I go ahead and go through it, but if it's also easy for you if, to if do If we're it. just talking about copying and pasting the link, it's... Mm -hmm. It's, I'm going to have, I'll, when I go through the, uh, when I go through the release, I, I have to uh, make edits to almost every uh, working group repo as I go. So okay. I will already have them uh, pulled up and updated and ready to go. So, okay. Okay. Well, thank you for doing that. Sean, you're about to add some text. Did you find some dates? I did. Okay. Uh, I guess, oh yeah, uh, deadline. I'll fix this. Okay. 
That's not when we have to decide, is it? No, that's we not. have until May 16th. Okay, so that's the expressed mm -hmm. interest. Okay. Yeah, this is the for the applicant deadline. I'm that clear. Okay, right on. And that's um, direct from the outreachy site. Okay, thank you for that. It was actually hard to find from the organization perspective, but I found it. All right. Thank you, and Sean. Then just to uh, oh yeah, just to be clear for everyone else on the call, the the data privacy link is is what we're talking about, uh, and uh, that is located in the uh, the document is located in the uh, community repo. It is, yeah. So this was the document, Sophia, I'm kind of looking at you. This was the one that we had worked on. There was like six different documents and it kind of all came together <laughs> in that. So if you, so basically we're just adding a link to that doc. So if you did want to take a look at it again, it'd be easy enough to do, you know, PRs against that doc without affecting the metrics. Um, cool. Um, anything else, Kevin, on the release? I don't believe so. Okay, thank you. Um, for the working groups, so we were, Kevin, myself, Elizabeth, and Sean are going through the working groups to bring the review metrics back to the working groups. We were kind of, to be honest with you, kind of dragging our feet a little bit through this review process. You know what I mean? The release process. We didn't want to do like all sorts of stuff all at once. So once the release is done, um, I think between the four of us, we all attend all the working group meetings, so we can just add it to the agenda. And so really what we're doing again is just taking a look at all of the released metrics, um, kind of starting with the oldest first. And if we give the metric a read and we're kind of feeling like something's off in the metric or the headers are off based on the new template, the new template from I think a couple of years ago already, um, we'll make a recommendation to the working group to to take a look at those metrics. So that's all that's going on there. All right. Any questions on that? Right on. All right. So um, you can see there's a link here. So uh, this link, and I've <laughs> this is based on the many people who have expressed interest in the different mentorship programs that we have talked about setting up the dot github profile readme so that it shows up on the organization page so that as people come to the project whether it's through slack or whether it's through github or whether it's through these meetings or the website that we have a consistent way to point them to information that they might need to participate in the project and so um we can put a, an, an image at the top which shouldn't be too hard I was doing a quick scan on the internet for like Creative Commons images. I, I didn't find anything that I particularly liked. Um, and then I just, I followed the VMware headers. So they had a welcome header. It just kind of gave an overview of the project, how to kind of work your way and how to get started in the project. So it's, it's really just pointers to different places, whether it's in the handbook, um or on the website to to get started and, and start participating in the chaos project we don't currently have this and no. i can't does anybody have any objection to adding this to no, the it's a really good idea i did not know that magic was possible it is possible <laughs> <laughs> so uh thank you to to don for uh, pointing me to the vmware i think that's just it was a really nice set of headings that i thought was easy to follow um, just for pointing people to the right places. Yeah, no, this is that's a really good idea. Okay. <clears throat> um, I, does anybody? I had thought like, sh should we like have people submit images for the top here? I did put like the big chaos banner up here. It didn't look so so yeah. awesome. <laughs> so I mean, is there a smaller version of it or? Something? Yeah, I mean, I have smaller versions like the VMware one. It's um it's it not a good. VMware logo. It's like a I mean, I guess I could show it here really fast. Oops. So this is the VMware one. So it's an image oh. like this, you know? <clears throat> yeah, I like that. 
Yeah, it I, I like it too. But it's appealing. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing but it's appealing. Is that what you just yeah, said? Yeah, it means nothing but it's appealing. <laughs> You can tell the marketing folks I said that, Don. Like... I will. I'll pass that along. <laughs> I feel oh, like Matt yeah. didn't. Wasn't there like a couple of pic, like images like this that we had? I feel like that we brought them up during the website redesign, and I I feel terrible. I can't remember when and what context this showed up, but I feel like we looked at a series of images and we voted on them. But this was like like, a few months ago. I feel like Nicole <laughs> presented us with a branding guideline. That, that might have been it. I feel like it was something that we went through. Yeah, it wasn't a PowerPoint. All right, like, I will. Let's look for Nicole's PowerPoint. You could be completely right. <laughs> I remember that. I remember discussing that and thinking, oh my God, we're like a professional organization. <laughs> so if we find those, then we can maybe talk about them next week and put those. Yeah and figure out which one to put on here. Nicole, Nicole's on the call. Nicole, did you provide us I'm images? Are you referred to the, I, I know I'm quickly trying to, to like a jog branding, my memory. It's like a branding guideline, kind of like there was a Twitter yeah. image and a. Yeah, like, if you scroll down to February 22nd. <laughs> oh gosh, did I do something that I don't remember? Oh, We're about ready to find out. to me all the time. <laughs> Where am I looking? Sophia, keep, keep going. going. Oh, oh. We were oh. talking about various banners. Oh, look at that. You know oh, what? It, it I... wasn't Nicole. It was. It, it, uh... it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, I'm crediting the wrong person. I apologize. Yeah. I mean, it's super it cool. was some <laughs> interested <laughs> internee or proposed who wanted to work on the it, chaos. It was Enoch. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I like that one. But I think we had some concerns because um, we're not sure exactly where the graphics came from. Right. I remember having that discussion. Right. Yes. And he was like, there is no defined guideline, uh, but he made it up all of them, but he was not sure. Like he knew the sources, but these were not posted. Like are these creative common or? Uh... Yeah, we should definitely make sure we're not so yeah, he did and he then did i think say, we had a conversation about how we should ask nicole to help us put together some brand guidelines so this okay. is where i think nicole came into it um because nicole's good at this sort of thing and we were thinking that maybe you should help us put together kind of a brand uh like a brand guidelines it's pretty good I see okay point too. okay oh, that is great great sound you got going there don no that it's not was, mine that actually was that was <laughs> That was that was mine. Sorry, I'm I'm at a coffee shop. Uh, I, 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 I'm barely under construction. <laughs> uh, I unmuted for a second just to say that uh, the images that he so he he used uh, creative common images. However, he did not uh, record any of the uh, attribution. Okay. Well, um, I, I mean, I like this one would be great if it was okay to use i don't know what other people's thought. i could give it a shot anyway give it a go um i think the the creative commons part of it would probably be the pencil right that's that's probably the bit that he pulled in okay but <laughs> which is right. probably okay yeah <laughs> sort of just looks like a pencil <laughs> all right okay um cool so let me um I I'll I'll take this just put it back up here. Um I was right. But I'll Nicole updated a PowerPoint. I found it. <clears throat> yeah, at that point, I guess I yeah, I did do the um I did do the PowerPoint. PowerPoint, and and I guess I was confused because somewhere in that PowerPoint, I did make the comment, "Hey, we should pull out some of the um, stuff you acted the things that I was seeing in the chaos imagery as different brand elements to use." Um, you know that 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 chaos banner down below, like the 
the connections with the different um, circles and that sort of thing so that people could use them if they wanted to use them as different images in what they were creating. So I did make that comment in the, it, I, I embedded it, I, it, I believe, <laughs> in, in, as a comment in the, uh, in the slides um, that, that were created as the brand guidelines. But we would need some sort of um, a, a person who could do that for us, could like Photoshop or something, right? To, to pull those pieces apart that we could use. Um, you know, when they're in the chaos colors and, and all of that, if, if people were in agreement, right? If, if the community is in, in agreement with, with that direction. Uh, I am in agreement with that direction and I'm happy to hire somebody. We have, like we have through the grant, we have the dollars to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And I had, I think I had mentioned to <clears throat> Nicole that I had reached out to some folks at the LF, just kind of asking like, should we go through the LF to do this? You know what right. I mean? Or should we do it ourselves? And the response was, do it, do it yourself. <laughs> just it, it, was, it was a polite, like we have so many projects, like just from a time perspective, if you want to get this work done, like go ahead and do it yourself. So it's okay for us to do that as well. So, okay. Um, so in regard, yeah. Uh, sorry. In, in regards to pulling apart some of the images, uh, I am very competent with Photoshop. I would be happy to do that. I don't oh, want awesome. to. I don't want to create new images or design work though. But if 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 we need to pull apart some of the. Uh, the logos or the graphics that exist currently just let me know what what you want and i can okay. do that pretty easily oh cool all right thanks kevin yeah that's great i'll take another uh, look um uh this week and uh and get that to you and, and reach out to you <clears throat> nicole do you know people who do this kind of work not what kevin was talking about but actually do like the designers, designers, <laughs> design <laughs> work. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I, yes, I know a couple of them. Okay. Uh, maybe yeah. you and I could have a different conversation. Cause I mean, we do have, like I said, it's a, we have the funds to support and pay market rate. At least I think market rate, I guess I don't know what designers cost, but <laughs> I find out soon. Um, but for us, a, a small job. Or, yeah, know, a job over the course of six months or a year or something like that. Awesome. And Justin, thank you for posting that uh, your your link there as well. Cool. Okay, great. Thank, thank you. you. That was that was great. Um, any other comments on on this? We have maybe five minutes before we while well, we're going to move over to chaos con stuff. Um, all right. Number six here, the metrics repo has been archived. I just find that funny, but it's been <laughs> archived because, because all of the metrics work occurs within our working groups. No. Um, and all of the templates that were in the metrics are, are in the metrics repo are now in the community repo under a templates folder. So everything's been moved. So we really don't have anything in there anyway. Um, so it's, it's, it's just archived. Um, Let's see. Seven archive one of the GSOC Slack channels. Is that who put that in there and who's asking that? I put that in there. We have we have three channels. Uh, I know what two of them are. I'm not sure what the third is. I didn't know we had and I, I didn't know we had three. What are they, Kevin? Do you can you have them handy? Mm -hmm. um, opening. Sorry. They are uh, GSOC. Uh, 2022. They are GSOC 2022 applicants uh -huh. and mentors GSOC 2022. So my question oh. would be, what's the difference okay. between GSOC 2022 and GSOC 2022 applicants? Uh, that that's a question. I don't think there is a difference. I think so maybe so maybe we could just get rid of one of them. Well. Yeah, I guess. Can we? Do we have 
people have posted in both of them. I think we have to ride this mistake out. And did not make it in 2023. Can we, well, we can uh, archive it? People can still see the messages that were posted, right? Ah, uh, okay. Can archive it. Is that true? Mm -hmm. I think, I yeah. Check, but yeah, I think so. It just it would just prevent people from posting more posting. messages in the wrong channel. Okay. And we could just put something at the top mm -hmm. of the channel. It's like go over here to the other one for your questions. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even realize I was, I was responding to people in both channels without realizing I was in two different channels. Okay. Kevin, do you have a preference? Uh, nope. nope. Just, okay. uh, just prefer one place rather than two. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a coin flip because there's 27 people in one. And actually, uh, GSOC 2022 has a bookmark to our ideas pinned to it. So get rid of the applicants one. Okay, just archive it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, the last in just in the two minutes, this is just something to think about. I, I, um, with respect to project badging. So we've had a lot of success with the DEI event badging. I think there's maybe three or four under review right now, including Open Source Summit North America. So we work quite a bit with uh, event badging and it's really, really been great um, just from a, a project perspective. Um, we'd like to think about project badging. So how would you go about badging an open source project similar to badging an open source community? So if, if you have an interest in, I'm not, in, I have no idea how it would work. The scale I think is just completely different than an event and the timelines are completely different than events. Um, so I'm not sure what that would look like. Um, so if, if you have thoughts, I think we're gonna start talking about this in the, the DEI working group. Um, and if, and if you can't attend the DEI working group and you have thoughts as well, um, this is just a, here it is. This is something that I think we're going to try to move forward in 2022 in some form. Yeah. Just to be clear, this is, this is about um, project badging for, for DEI. And yeah, I'm, like, yes, general. that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Just checking. Yep. Oops. Mm -hmm. Cool. All righty. We are at 1130. So that's the end of the chaos meeting for the week. I'm going to stop my share. All right. And uh, for those of you that would like to stick around to talk about ChaosCon in Dublin, uh, feel free to stick around. If you don't want to participate in the ChaosCon planning, then we're done, yeah. and you're done, and you, you can yeah. <clears throat> I'm off. And I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>